Hi ladies, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I'm gonna to be filming a topic that I absolutely love to talk about, which is date night fragrances, sexy fragrances, feminine fragrances, femme fatale fragrances. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I am currently loving in terms of date night fragrances. And I'm feeling really like, I don't know, in my feminine but sexy energy right now. Like my hair is up, I have the black dress, I have my jewelry and I'm loving it. A part of this video is in collaboration with Ideal Jewelry. You guys know if you have watched me in the past, I am obsessed with Ideal. Like if you go back in a lot of my recent videos, I am only wearing Ideal Jewelry and that is not because they paid me to wear it. It's because the pieces are spectacular, you guys. So I really, really wholeheartedly recommend that you check them out. They are a great company, sustainable. They use lab-grown diamonds. And I love, most of all, the concept of the mix and match. So basically, ideal, they have this kind of modular design where you start with the studs and then you can kind of build on top depending on what you're kind of feeling and what mood you're in that day. So I am gonna zoom you guys in a little bit to show you what mood I went for today. I actually ended up mixing silver with gold and I think that it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. On this ear, you can see that I'm wearing the stud and I paired it with this little chain right here. And I absolutely love this because you don't need to have like several different piercings in order to make this work. You can just have one earring, uh, like ear piercing here and then you can kind of hook it into your ear like this. I'll show you guys so you can see better. But I absolutely love this one. Like I feel like such a cool fashion girl whenever I wear this piece. And on the other side, I have this beautiful kind of like Greek eye design and I absolutely am obsessed with it. I just got this one recently. They kindly sent it to me and I am obsessed. And as you can see, it's in the, the silver. And then up the top, I paired it with the little ear cuff up here, which is so gorgeous. It's like full sparkle, full diamond, and I am totally in love with it. That's it. I absolutely love my look today. I feel like it goes really well with having my hair up, if you know what I mean. And also another thing, like this is so unrelated to jewelry, but I love the little gift with purchases that they give you. I have this little pouch and it's really, really soft and it says ideal on it. And I use it for all of my accessories in my bag. Like maybe I'll go and grab it and show you guys. I feel like this is so unrelated to the actual jewelry, but I have this pouch and it stays in my bag and I have like a hair clip. I have obviously, because it's me, a face mask. I have some intimate wipes in case I need it or if I'm like sweating or something, some Panadol, something else. <laughs> And yeah, I just love this. Like I love to use this to travel with and just always have it in my handbag in case I need to put something inside. So totally unrelated, but I absolutely love that as well. Depending on what time you visit the website, they might have like a discount or a gift with purchase or a special promotion going on. So I really recommend it. I will leave the link down below. Without further ado, let's get into this video of talking about my current favorites, sexy date night, beautiful womanly perfumes for women. I'm gonna start out with something that I feel like you guys may not expect me to like. I feel like I have kind of unfortunately um, given myself the name of like a niche snob, but that is so far from the truth. In fact, I am actually talking with somebody in Dubai right now who is going to uh, hook me up with so many designer fragrances on a really good discount because in Dubai, it's not like the US. I, I have found it quite difficult to find like a really good discounter here. I found a guy and he's gonna hook me up with really good prices for designer fragrances and I am planning to spend a lot of money on my designer scents. So anyways, um, I love this fragrance. I actually made a TikTok uh, the first time that I smelled it. I was in the Milan Duty Free and I fell in love with this release. Like for me, this might be my favorite flanker of Good Girl, the original. Okay, so the reason that I love this so much is because it took a much more feminine approach to the original Good Girl. Now, don't get me wrong, I still think the original is really, really good, really sexy. It's more sexy than this fragrance. Uh, the Good Girl blush is much more feminine, and that is kind of what I am leaning towards more nowadays. I'm wanting to smell very feminine, very womanly, very pretty, and this fragrance is just perfect to me. I get this really plush 
and slightly powdery peony scent with touches of bergamot and vanilla, like a lot of vanilla. And actually something that I would say is in the dry down of this fragrance, you do kind of feel the essence of the original Good Girl. I know that it's a flanker, but when I first smelled this fragrance and I initially sprayed it, I was like, this has nothing to do with the original, but actually I'm wrong. In the dry down of Good Girl Blush, you do get this slight feeling of the original creation. So I am obsessed with this. It's so feminine, it's so pretty, it's plush, it's peony, it's smooth, it's a little bit powdery, and it is just gorgeous, you guys, like really, really gorgeous. Now, the only thing that I have to say about this scent, unfortunately, I'm sure that you guys are gonna guess what I'm gonna say, is the longevity projection is not the best. Now, on my skin, I get about six hours of decent wear with a very minimal projection, but it doesn't bother me too much, to be quite honest with you guys, because I overspray my fragrances. Like, I spray this one, like, 40 times, and then I can smell it on my skin for quite some time. So I would tell you guys to overspray this one. And a beautiful layering combo, if you guys wanted to get in on it, is to layer Good Girl Blush with Burberry Her. Either the Eau de Parfum, either the Eau de Toilette or the Parfum, layer with any of the Burberry Her fragrances, and it smells so beautiful and so feminine. And whenever I wear this, I get a lot of compliments as well, you guys. So Good Girl Blush is currently my favorite date night scent when I want to smell super feminine. Like for me, this is like a, a lunchtime date scent. Next up, we're going to something a little bit darker, but still pink. We have Siren and Sailors from Juicebox. Now, you guys, you have to get on this scent. It is so sexy. And I remember the first time that I smelled it, I was actually in, uh, I was at IFF in Paris because the perfumer that created this one is called Julien Ruskinet and he is an IFF perfumer. And he showed me this scent and I was like, my eyes like literally rolled back in my head when he showed me. And I was like, I have to get a bottle of that ASAP. Oh my gosh, Siren and Sailors is this gorgeous, sweet, very sexy, dark rose fragrance. You have a bit of a booziness in here. You have a lot of sweetness, but it's very smooth. It's very well blended. The rose does not smell grandma-ish or very traditional. This is quite a dark and femme fatale rose scent with a little bit of a fruitiness, a little bit of a gourmand kind of sweet, uh, edible touch and you have a slight booziness. So for me guys, this is sexy, sexy, sexy on the skin and I would really recommend checking this one out even if you're not a Rose fan. Rose is quite a difficult note to um, understand. It can be a little bit spicy at times, it can be a little bit vegetal at times, it can be a bit powdery at times. It really depends on the rose and how it's been highlighted. But in this fragrance, it's done in a very appealing and very sexy way. So I really, really recommend this one. Siren and Sailors from Juicebox. Very sexy and also very, very long lasting and a big compliment getter. I get about eight hours of really good wear with this one with a minimal projection. Like it, it's not a Buckwart Rouge by any means, but it does project within your arm's length. So I really recommend checking this one out. Siren and Sailors from Juicebox. The next fragrance is as much as a surprise to you as it is to me, actually. This is Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. Now, I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because I cannot believe it took me so long to actually start wearing this scent and enjoying it. And to be honest, I think it's because Kayali, they release quite a lot of fragrances during the year, which in my opinion, doesn't give the customer too much time to appreciate each scent for what it is. Now that is their, like that, that is how they work by launching several launches per year. And I totally respect that. But in a way it doesn't leave, you know, it doesn't leave much time to give the fragrance the full spotlight, if you know what I mean. And hence, why I just discovered that I am obsessed with this one. So actually we went to the Kayali office to have a meeting for a sniff. As you guys know, it's my uh, Pierre and I's mobile application. And we had a meeting with their marketing team. And I went in and they obviously have Kayali everywhere in their office. So I sprayed on vanilla royal sugar patchouli. And I was like, oh my God, 
Like that is really, really good. And I forgot you guys how incredible this scent actually is. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I was sniffing my arm like for the rest of the day. And even when I showered, I could still smell it on my arm. Now, a lot of people were a little bit disappointed that they added patchouli to this fragrance because I feel like the Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli doesn't smell like the original and personally I think that that's a good thing and I think that the patchouli is the perfect addition to this scent and that's just my opinion because I do like patchouli. I feel like they killed it with this release. Oh my gosh, it's so warm and rich and very woody, very vanillic, very balmy, very deep. What I get from this scent is a beautiful, warm, woody vanilla fragrance. Very, very woody, very smooth, very, I don't know, cocooning, almost a little bit chocolatey in a way. Like I personally feel this slight chocolatey facet to the scent. I feel the vanilla. I do feel this woody, um, deep, earthy patchouli and a slight kind of chocolatey facet or like a bit of coconut or something like that. And it is just gorgeous, you guys, like truly, truly, truly a gorgeous release from the brand. And like I said, I feel like because they launch so many fragrances per year, it doesn't give much time for the customer to appreciate the like the launches one by one if you know what i mean so i'm obsessed with this one especially for a date night it smells so sexy on the skin has a huge projection and beast mode longevity on my skin it lasts about eight plus hours with a huge projection this is probably like i think the most longest lasting kaali i know a lot of their other juices don't last that long and i totally agree like utopia love it but it doesn't last that long this one on the other hand it lasts it really really lasts on the skin so I'm currently obsessed with this one. Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli from Kaali. Perfect date night scent, you guys. Perfect. Let's get the other vanilla out of the way. The Architects Club from Arkeist is probably my favorite vanilla that I have tried in recent years. I'm not going to say ever because I feel like I say that sort of stuff all the time because I'm a very expressive person. But the Architects Club is probably my favorite vanilla that I have tried in recent years, I would say. And Pierre, he also agrees. We have been sharing this one and wearing it kind of like in rotation. Like one time he will wear it, one time I will wear it, one time he will wear it. And it kind of annoys me to be honest. But the Architects Club is the most refined, luxurious, smooth vanilla fragrance that I have ever tried. You have a huge breakdown of notes, which I will put on the screen. The screenshot that you will see is from Sniff, you guys. So if you wanted to look at any of the notes, you can check them on Sniff. But there is a huge breakdown in here. But overall, what I get is this slightly green opening, a little bit like Angelique Noir from Guerlain. And then it starts to settle and you feel this kind of just really smooth vanilla but it's not too sweet it's not too green it's not too woody it is just perfection like absolute perfection and when it dries down even further on your skin i almost get a little bit of a chocolatey sensation as well like i don't know where that's coming from but i do feel just the tiniest bit of like a cacao note in here and it is just Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just gorgeous. It's warm, it's smooth. It's just, I have no words for this one. I would say if you like Angelique Noir from Guerlain, you must try the Architects Club. And this one, it lasts on the skin so long. For me, it lasts about, I would say eight hours on my skin with a minimal projection. I actually, I'm gonna expose myself right now. I had a psychology appointment this morning because I am back going to see my psychologist, which is the best thing for me. And I was wearing the Architects Club and she complimented me. She complimented me on this fragrance. She told me that you smell so good. And she actually said that I always smell good when I go in, which I appreciate. But today she said that I smelled extra good. And that was because I was wearing the Architects Club. Very intimate fragrance, very sensual fragrance, very just, uh, it's just perfection, you guys. I cannot say anything else. I often get asked, what brands are you loving right now? Arkeist. I'm obsessed with everything from Arkeist. Next up, you guys, 
You have to follow me on TikTok because I just did a Louis Vuitton haul. This is something about me that you guys should know. I enjoy spending money here and there, definitely. Like every time I go to the mall, I buy Pierre like 20 new things. Like I love buying things for people, but I don't know why, but I have slowed down on spending money. Like I never impulse buy things, like I really think about it. But when I went to Louis Vuitton, I was like, it's time. I need to buy some Louis Vuitton fragrances to wear them, enjoy them, and understand what all the hype is about of Louis Vuitton. So I bought three fragrances, and like I said, the video is on my TikTok, but I have been obsessed the most with Fleur du Désert from Louis Vuitton. I'm so happy because Pierre, he just took the dogs. Like I am at a point right now where I need a goddamn break from my dogs. They are driving me mental. I love my dogs, but they are literally driving me up the wall mental. I haven't had a break for them, from them for ages. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk about Fleur du Désert from Louis Vuitton. Now, this is definitely one of my top favorites from the brand. I went and sniffed a bunch of them, and I do think that they're really nice, but I don't think that they're necessarily worth the price. Fleur du Désert, I think is, Ombre Nomad, I think is, but they're more lighter citrusy scents. I think it is quite a ripoff. But nonetheless, Fleur du Désert is this beautiful, very, very sexy, floral, deep, ambery, woody fragrance for women. This is just beautiful, you guys. What I get in here is quite a powdery floral fragrance with a lot of honey and this kind of sweet muskiness underneath and a touch, just a touch of oud, just a touch. You're gonna see in this video, I have an oud fragrance that is real oud. This is not oud in my opinion, this is not oud at all. This is more of a floral fragrance with a beautiful dark, sweet, warm amberiness underneath. Just think of this very plush and powdery, dark femme fatale floral fragrance and that is what you're gonna get with Fleur du Désert absolutely love it. I wore it two nights ago when I went on a little dinner date with my friends. <laughs> That's still considered a date for me. And uh, I wore it and it lasted all night long. It smelled beautiful. It wasn't too strong. Like it definitely doesn't have this beast mode projection by any means, but it does last on the skin. So really recommend this one. Fleur du Désert from Louis Vuitton. Uh, fantastic fragrance. I actually just got an email from Louis Vuitton. That's so funny because I just bought these uh, fragrances like three days ago, four days ago maybe, and uh, I just got an email that was like, thank you for your visit to buy the fragrances, just as I was talking about it. The world is weird, you guys. Let's go to something uh, designer, which I am totally obsessed with, but I have been obsessed with this one since the end of last year. This is Alien um, Goddess Intense from Mugler. Now, for me, Mugler can do no wrong. I absolutely love the brand so much, and Oh my god, I'm mostly recommending this right now for a summer date night. You guys, you guys, this is just incredible. Although I feel that this fragrance right here doesn't really have a lot to do with the original, I love it for what it is. She is gorgeous, she is sexy, she is feminine goddess energy completely. Oh my gosh, okay, so you have the jasmine, the white floral effect in here. You have some coconuts, which if you guys know anything about me, tropical florals are my favorite fragrances ever. It's my favorite scent category. So anything with florals, coconut, benzoin, and vanilla, sign me up right here, take my money, take it from me, take whatever you want. This is all of that. This is a beautiful, balmy, creamy, sweet, slightly balsamic white floral. And it is just perfection to me, like absolute perfection, you guys. One of my favorite designer releases in a very long time. I absolutely love this. The white florals in here are not too much. I feel like it's perfectly balanced with the coconut, the benzoin, the vanilla, etc. And it just works. Very warm, very exotic, very beautiful. Longevity projection on my skin is around six, seven hours. So not too much, but it does last. And I get a nice minimal arm's length projection with this one. Love it so much, you guys. One of my favorite designer fragrances ever right now. Alien Goddess Intense from Mugler. Let's talk about Palo Santo from Carna Barcelona. Now, I recently got this fragrance and ever since I got it, I am 
only wanting to wear this scent. Palo Santo from Carna Barcelona. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Let me just say something right now. This right here, this right here is what I wanted By the Fireplace to be. By the Fireplace, for me personally, is too much. Like, it's too much. It's too sweet. It's too smoky. It's too harsh. Like, it's very harsh. Whenever I wear it, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. It only works in like, if you're in extremely cold climates by the fireplace, like if you're in like the minus 14, 15 degree weather, then you can probably wear by the fireplace. But if not, for me, it is way too sweet, way too overwhelming, way too smoky. Palo Santo is exactly what I thought that by the fireplace would be. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that they're dupes at all, but I feel like they have an essence that is very, very similar to them. Slightly smoky, like burning wood, very creamy, very boozy as well, a little bit nutty. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just dreamy, like absolutely dreamy. Yeah, I get this kind of sweet burning wood scent, but very slight. Like I said, it's not like by the fireplace. It is very smooth and well blended. The fragrance has been blended to perfection. Smooth and smoky woods. Oh my gosh, this is like an aphrodisiac to my nose right now. <laughs> I'm not joking, you guys. This is crazy. A lot of you ladies might find this to be quite masculine, so I just want to preface it by saying definitely get a sample of this one. It's not going to be for all of you. But you guys, this is just addictive like when you want to smell i don't know if you have a day at like a cigar lounge or just a lounge in general try wearing palo santo this is just intoxicating you guys like absolutely intoxicating one of my top favorites from Carna Barcelona. this one is spectacular longevity projection is great on my skin about six to eight hours with a really nice projection like people can smell you with this one and I am totally in love. Palo Santo from Carna Barcelona. Let me just say right now, this was the fragrance that was on my wish list for such a long time. I smelled it at Exxon's for the first time. And once I smelled it, I was hooked. This is from Rania J and it's called Sharaya. Sharaya, I think it's pronounced. It's kind of hard, I'll put the name on the screen. But you guys, this is the best oud fragrance that I have tried. This fragrance right here is real oud. This is how oud should be represented on the market in my humble opinion. Now a lot of people, I'm not necessarily saying you guys and I'm certainly not talking down to you, but a lot of people think that oud satin mood, uh, oud ispahan from Dior, oud for greatness from Inicio, Lancome oud bouquet are real oud fragrances. But I am telling you guys right now most commercial brands, I'm not going to say who or which ones, most commercial brands are not even using real oud in their fragrances. Now, is that a crime? Not at all. I love oud for greatness. I love oud ispahan. I love all of those type of scents. But I just feel like there is a little bit of a misconception about how oud really smells. And if you've never had the chance to smell it, I would really recommend that you guys find a way to actually smell either... I don't know, oud chips or oud oil, like smell the real thing so that you can identify when a fragrance like this comes on the market that is really representing oud. I am, I am blown away. <laughs> I am absolutely blown away with this scent. Now, don't get me wrong, this is quite a barnyard, uh, skanky sort of oud. Not too much though. This is perfection to me. This is perfection. You feel the deep, kind of slightly skanky oud in the base, but it is very smooth and it has a beautiful gourmand edge to it, like a beautiful gourmand edge. I don't even know the notes, but again, I'm going to put the screenshot from Sniff. I feel like there is a lot of vanilla, maybe something chocolatey like tonka, some caramel maybe. It is just wow 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 i also get a slight kind of smoky like smoked wood sensation in here and it's just beautiful and let me tell you on the skin the evolution just becomes sweeter and sweeter and sweeter on your skin and it's just amazing 
I cannot say enough good things about this scent. It is my baby. It's my favorite fragrance that I have acquired in probably the whole year. Like this is the one that I was dreaming about for such a long time. It is magical, but it is not for everyone. Again, again, let me say this one is not for everyone. This is only going to be for a certain few of you that do really appreciate oud fragrances. Then you must try this one. It is so spectacular and it's just, I have no words. As you could imagine, this is a beast. It lasts all day on my skin, huge projection, and it's very sexy. It's very sweet and rich and deep. Incredible 10 out of 10, you guys. Next up, we have Gossip Nights from Gritty. Now, I am so excited to have another top, top, top favorite Gritty fragrance. I received this only like a week ago, maybe, and I am... Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I am blown away by Gossip Night. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am done. I am done. I am done. I am done. For all of you that love my recommendations, which I appreciate so much, but for all of you that love my recommendations and trust me, you are going to die over Gossip Night. Now, I'm going to be totally transparent right now. I love Duquesa so much. So it was really hard for me to find another gritty fragrance that would compete for my love for Duquesa, if that makes any sense. Gossip Night is here. Gossip Night is competing strong. I just cannot believe how good this scent is. Now what you have in here is mango. But it's not really something that I would consider a straight up mango scent. Like it doesn't smell like Mango Kiss or Godify or anything like that. The mango is a little more subtle. It's a little bit green and very, very creamy. But what I love about this scent is this lactonic whipped cream, smooth sandalwoody sensation that is going on in here. And it is just so good, you guys. It's mango, it's peach, it's caramel, it's heliotrope. It feels like there's some coconut in here and whipped cream. And my gosh, you guys, like this one is a showstopper. If you are somebody who loves feminine gourmands, you have to try Gossip Night. This is the sort of fragrance that I wear when I want my boyfriend to find me delectable. Like if I want Pierre to, you know, I am gonna wear Gossip Night. I'm serious, you guys. You guys are gonna fall in love with this one. I have no words for this one. Gossip Night from Gritty, you guys. Wow, what an incredible feminine gourmand fragrance right here. So mm, scrumptious. That is the word to describe Gossip Night. It is scrumptious. For me, it doesn't smell refined or like bougie vibes. This is addictive and scrumptious on your skin. Next up, we have Maria from Oman Luxury. Now, if you guys follow me again on TikTok, I have spoken quite a lot about Maria because this is such a gorgeous gourmand rose fragrance. I am all about my rose fragrances smelling addictive and very sexy. And that is exactly what Maria is. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry you guys, but this one is an absolute showstopper, like an absolute showstopper. Maria from Oman Luxury. When I tested the whole brand, this was the one that I just wanted to put it on me straight away. When I tried the brand, I was like, give me that one. I want to spray it everywhere. And I actually did do that and I got complimented. <laughs> this is a very sweet and slightly powdery rose fragrance. What you have in here is rose, orange blossom, vanilla, coffee, which you do actually feel like a dark kind of roasted coffee sensation in here mixed with the rose, which is quite plush and a little bit powdery mixed with caramel, which brings this addictive, warm, edible sweetness. And there is also a little bit of patchouli in here. This you guys is a 12 out of 10 rose fragrance. If you love my recommendations with Oud Bouquet, with Peregrina from Tamin, you are going to die over Maria. It is literally, guys, the most beautiful, sexy, but luxurious smelling rose fragrance with an edible and gourmand touch. This is just, just perfection in a bottle for me. This is what I want my rose fragrances to smell like. This is everything that I want in a fragrance. It is just 
gorgeous and so addictive and an absolute beast on the skin. Like absolute beast mode, you guys. And finally, you guys, we have a fragrance from Stefan Amber Luca. No, it is not God of Fire. No, it is not Mango Kiss. It is Afterglow. Soleil de Jetta Afterglow. Now, I feel kind of sad because I have been wearing this fragrance for about four or five months or so, but I have never spoken about it and I don't really know why. Soleil de Jetta Afterglow is severely underrated from the brand and the reason is because Mango Kiss from the Soleil de Jetta line is the most appealing. It is, it is what it is. Mango Kiss is very appealing. I know so many of you guys would love it. It's this beautiful, smooth, creamy, luxurious mango scent. And honestly, Stefan and Luca, they're right here if you guys can see, they have so many good fragrances. Like I own a lot of them and so many of them are amazing. Venom Incarnate, Lady White Snake, um, Talamakan, Isra and Mirage. So many of them are, could be a bestseller. Now Afterglow, Sole de Jetta Afterglow is absolutely spectacular. Yet it got overshadowed by the mango goodness of Sole de Jetta Mango Kiss. But I am going to break the barrier right now and tell you guys exactly how this smells and how much I love it. I will also tell you something right now, which I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to say, but Afterglow is actually all of the Stefan Ambo Luca team's favorite. This is Stefan's favorite. This is Jan's favorite. This is the whole team. They all love Afterglow. And it's just funny because nobody really talks about it. This does have a slight resemblance to Soleil de Jetta, the original iconic fragrance from the brand, but they have turned it into the most sensual, balmy, slightly resinous, warm, smooth and creamy, sexy fragrance ever. Ever, 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 you guys. So this, if you can just imagine a nighttime exotic version of Soleil de Jetta, that is what you're gonna get with Afterglow. To me, this smells, oh my gosh, like maybe it's a placebo effect, but I see this on like a super luxurious night in Dubai or somewhere in the Middle East where it's so humid, you have the desert around you, you're wearing like a beautiful dress, your skin is kind of hot. I just see this in those situations. Now I have been wearing this one in the Dubai summer at night and the way that it radiates off your skin, you guys, is insane. Compliments galore with Afterglow. I really feel this smooth and creamy, uh, balsamic and resinous feeling from this scent, but done in, like I said, a very smooth way. Like it doesn't smell spicy or dry or smoky woody. It's not like that at all. It's done in a very um, dusty way. It's very smooth. It's very magical. Like this scent to me smells like magic. Really, really like magic. It's so complex, you guys. It is so, so, so complex. And that's why I feel like not a lot of people understand this one because it is much more complex than Mango Kiss. Mango Kiss, you, you guys know I love it, but I could tell you guys how it smells and so many of you will want to try it because it's really easy to understand. It's a mango, it's creamy, smooth, like a hand cream lotion. Afterglow is very complicated. It's very intricate it's very magical it's just captivating on the skin you guys so Soleil de Jetta, uh, I was gonna say mango kiss actually Soleil de Jetta afterglow incredible fragrance and as per usual for SHL the fragrances are beast mode beast 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 mode so check this one out I'm totally in love with it that is it you guys I have officially been filming for over an hour and I cannot believe how we got there but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I hope that you enjoyed hearing about what are my current favorite date night fragrances when I want to smell super sexy or really feminine or really exotic. These are all of my absolute favorites right now. Um, I will try to link some of the fragrances down below. Make sure as well guys, if you haven't downloaded Sniff yet, it's Pierre and I's mobile application and I would really, really appreciate if you guys would download it and interact with the app because we have so many exciting things going on right now. I love you guys so much. Thank you and I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.